On October 9th, ISIS terrorists attacked Hayat Tahrir al-Sham, formerly Jabhat al-Nusra, the Syrian branch of al-Qaeda, terrorists in northern Hama. ISIS seized the villages of Jab al tabkalia Abu Lafa, Nafila, Murjajib, al-Jumlan, Shakushia, Wadi Zarub, Um al-Fawr, Hasrat, Razam al-Amar, Sara, Sara Shamalia, and al Mustaria. Hayat Tahrir al-Sham HGS launched a counterattack and reportedly retook a few villages. Clashes in the area continued into the next day. The Syrian Arab Army SAA will likely exploit this situation in order to clear the entire eastern Salamiya countryside from the remaining ISIS units. Last week, HGS seized Abu Dali village and al Maqta'a hill from the SAA in northern Hama. The terrorist group claimed that 97 SAA fighters were killed and that 20 vehicles, 6 battle tanks, and an artillery gun were destroyed in the clashes. Abu Dali village has been an important trafficking hub between the government-held and HDS-held areas. The SAA and its allies took full control over Hatla al-Sharqiyah village and pushed towards Sia Sia bridge on the eastern bank of the Euphrates. If government forces secure the bridge area, they will be able to further tighten the siege on ISIS units in the northern part of Derazor city. Separately, clashes between the SAA and ISIS continued in the area of Mayadeen city. Reports appeared that ISIS is redeploying vehicles and fighters from the front line against the U.S.-backed Syrian Democratic Forces SDF, near Suwar and al khaja northeast of Derazor City, to the front line against government troops on the eastern and western banks of the Euphrates. The SDF has seized Asawa, Zugair, Uwayaj Bumasa, Uwayaj Duyab, Muhammadah, and reached the Derazor Industrial Zone from direction.